this is a central location. This is this is where sh shop was set up. This is yeah. where uh, fishermen disciples were gathered. <laughs> yeah. This is where the home base Capernaum right? was set up for Yeshua and Peter. Right yeah. Uh, it's incredible. Two thirds. How many? How many miracles, percentage-wise, happened in the Galilee? Yeah, well, 29 out of 34 total. Now, I'm not saying some big miracles didn't happen in Jerusalem, like rising from the dead. Okay, <laughs> but yet, 29. The majority of all, a majority of all the miracles are here. I mean, 5,000, and you count, you count the also the wife and children. You're looking at 30,000 people, just and then 12 baskets left over of food. Wow. Fishes yep. and loaves. Right and the demoniac over there, and we know about Sermon on the Mount right there, Mount of Beatitudes, that clump of trees right over there. It's all here, um, and there's lots more as we continue to see the story and the journey progress. Amen. God with us. Oh, oh, Emmanuel. Oh, oh, Emmanuel. Oh, oh, Emmanuel. God with us. Glory to God, peace on earth. Goodwill to all men, you with the angels we sing. And as he reigns from above, make you reign in our hearts, our sovereign Lord and King. Oh, oh, Emmanuel. Oh, oh, Took our sin away. Oh, hallelujah! He has torn the veil that separated it to bring us face to face. Oh, 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 Emmanuel. Oh, oh, oh.
מחכים לשיבתו, לא יודעים את היום, לא יודעים את השעה, אך בטוחים נו בזאת הוא יבוא. He is coming soon, oh he is coming soon, he is coming soon, with joy. We welcome his returning It may be morning It may be night or noon We know he's coming soon Amen! Oh, amen. You know, when I, when I think of Yeshua's return, and, and I know Your, word, your message has always been about the return of the Galilean rabbi to his land and to this world. And, uh, but think of how scary that, that moment was. I mean, I'm thinking, uh, you know, that the story of Yeshua walking on water, the historical account of Yeshua miraculously walking on these water, H2O water mo molecules, uh, is not found in the, in the Gospel of John. Or sorry, not in Luke, but it's found in Mar Matthew, Mark, and John. So in the Mark account, we know they were heading towards Capernaum. And, uh, you know, I can even read a bit of that. Uh, and, you know, he constrained the disciples to go before him to the other side, sorry, to Bethsaida, right, which is not far from Capernaum. And he himself sent the multitude away. And after he had taken leave of them, he departed into the mountain to pray, like us. <laughs> and the evening came, and the boat was in the middle of the sea, and he was alone on the land. And so, seeing the disciples distressed in rowing, there's that message again. They're getting distressed. They're getting tired. He could see from far, far away. All right? And the wind was going against them, you know? And so, about the fourth watch of the night, he comes to them walking on the sea. And this part's very interesting. And he would have walked right past them. Uh -huh. Strange, right? Uh, because he wants them to go. They're rowing against the wind, but he wants them to learn something. He's like, all right, you're learning your thing. I'm just going to walk right past you, you know? <laughs> But they saw him walking on the sea, and they thought he was a ghost, right? Ruach Ephaim in Hebrew. And, he, and suddenly they cried out, for they all saw him, and they were troubled. But he straightway spoke to them, and it says, Be of good cheer. It's I. Be not afraid. I love that. And when yeah. Yeshua's return, you know, mighty to save, I believe it's going to be those who love him will not be afraid. Uh, and then he went, he went up to them. And the wind ceased, and they were sore amazed, you know, and then they had crossed over and went to the land of Gennesaret. But there's another account where he asks, you know, the different accounts have different parts they focus on, um, which actually shows its credibility. Different yeah. accounts of different people. Yeah. And another account shows about how he calls for Peter, and he says, Peter, come to me on the water. How crazy is that? And of course, Peter, so afraid. I don't even know how good, how well he could swim. Made it out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and he walks, but he loses sight of Yeshua and he begins to sink. Uh -huh. And that, of course, we know the message there is we can do all things. So he who gives us the strength, but keep our eyes. Keep the main thing, the main thing. Keep our eyes on Yeshua. Yeah. And we're going to continue to see the miraculous in our lives. Amen. 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 Hu yavo. Amen. He will return. He's coming. He's coming soon. So blessings to you guys from the Galilee. We'll see you here in a little bit. Shalom, everybody. Joshua Aaron here. We've got an announcement to make. The borders are open. Yes, they are, virtually. We have a brand new tour we put together just for you guys called the Virtual Worship in Israel Tour. And not only will you get to see the Sea of Galilee, But we will bring you, of course, through Jerusalem, up the coast, through Caesarea, through uh, Mount Carmel, the Golan Heights, the land of the giants. Uh, we'll bring you, of course, to the Sea of Galilee, the Jordan River. We'll take you on the Jesus boat, or Yeshua's boat, uh, as they call it. And we're going to have very special times of worship together. So sign up today at joshuaaron.tv. Yes, you can still come to Israel today. <laughs>